Ho, Facebook Live. Do you want it? That's creepy. <laughs> Facebook Live, it sure. asked me if, if I want to tag Benedict in this uh, thing. Apparently it recognizes his face. That's Big Brother. That is Big Brother. Creepy, scary stuff. Um, either way, like I said, two 30 days of videos today uh, because I went to the movies earlier today to see the posts. Um, as you guys come on, let me know if you could hear us because there's some music going on in the background. So if we need to speak up, just let us know. Uh, Benedict's drinking some, some coffee with his, with his thumb in. Um, so again, 30 days of video, day 61, second video of the day. Uh, talking to Benedict, uh, who is a real estate investor, and that's how he gives his gift to the world. So just wanted to share some stories and share some inspiration. Benedict has a huge heart uh, and, you know, loves teaching and loves sharing, sharing his stories and just sharing his knowledge and all that stuff. So, you know, we got these 30 days of videos. It's an awesome platform to do it. So let's go. <laughs> let's go. Just be sure to talk up so that, that everybody can uh, everybody yes. can hear you. Yes. I hope you guys can hear as well. So anyway, my name is uh, Benedict uh, Big Ben. Big Ben, uh, Ben the Great, Benedict the Great. Yeah, right, that's your name. Yeah, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't come I didn't up come with up. it. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I'm Ben, an investor in, in the uh, North Jersey area, mainly in Essex County, um, Union County, Wilkin and Bergen, Morris, and now we're in Long Branch where I own a property. Um, what do you want to talk about? Well, uh, let's see, where, where should we start? Why? Why real estate for you? Like, what was the process for you of figuring out, um, well, actually, you know, I mean, do you mind just giving some, some background, like, you know, where you come from, how you found real estate, how you realized that this was your way of giving your gift to the world? Okay. So I grew up in, um, in a Haiti. I moved here when I was 15, uh, and, um, basically finished high school, uh, went to college and, Went to figure out what I, what I wanted to do in my life, um, and it took a while, a while to figure that out. But it's been about 10 to 15 years in finance, and I hated it. I hated every aspect <laughs> of it. It was terrible. Uh, but you know, I went through it because you know I thought maybe that's the way to reach the American dream. Uh, long story short, uh, my wife became pregnant, and I decided to be a stay-at-home dad for a bit uh, because. I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I figured, why not? Um, and after about a year of taking care of my daughter, props to all the stay-at-home mothers, I'm telling you, it's a hard, hard job. Um, I, you know, find a way to convince my wife to let me uh, try out this whole real estate thing because <laughs> it's, you know, a way to financial independence because ultimately it's all we want. Do what we want, when we want, with whomever we want. Uh, that's the ultimate goal. So. That's how I ended up in, uh, in real estate and read up a lot of books, seminars, the whole nine and got the whole, you know, no money down, you know, spiel, mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to do it. And, and somehow, some way, you know, now three years later, I own seven houses as of Tuesday uh, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to, to buy more houses, fix them, flip them, uh, buy and hold, actually just place a few homeless families and uh, two of my properties, um, and that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, Ben is actually a client of mine. Um, most of my clients have confidentiality agreements with me, so I asked Ben if I could mention that he's a, a client. Uh, he did say, yep. Yeah. Um, he's awesome. <laughs> dude, it's, it's, it's great work. And I do it in a hoodie. Can you imagine that? I was living uh, the life. I had to come meet him down the shore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, one of the, um, so you said you went through the process and you read the books and all that. What, um, like, what's some of the, uh, I guess just, just through the coaching, like, what's some of the things that you picked up for yourself that was, like, different from either what you read in the uh, books or some I of mean, stuff? I mean, reading the books felt more like a college course, you know, you, you go through the process, you know the technical aspects of things, you know, how to raise money, how to find a house, how to buy a house, how to fix a house, um, you know, understanding the different nuances and negotiating and so on and so forth. I think working with Jason was more helpful for me from a personal development stage because this business is very lonely, it's very hard, and you know, you don't have a paycheck to eat. <laughs> you know, you gotta make it happen. So, um, it's hard, you know, there have been some pretty dark days for me and having Jason to rely on to call whenever I have an issue or 
would have a call and he'd force me to talk. Um, it's, 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 a, it's, it's it helped a lot. I mean, I distinctly remember. I tell my wife this all the time. Yeah, you know, the first sessions we had was like two hours and of him literally trying to sit down and make me do my goals. And that was like the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life. We sat there and I would talk about anything and everything <laughs> but what I had to do. So, um, yeah, it was hard and, and I did it though. I, I got it, I got it done. I was like over a year, like close to a year ago. Yeah. And uh, I'm still referring back to it. And every time we talk, it's like, so how many times you look at your goals? I finally got around to putting it all on the board almost a year later. They're on, they're on your yes. phone, right? Yeah, yeah. I put it all on the board and I actually took a picture of the board. And the picture of the board is on my screensaver as something for me to look at every day. So just to keep me honest. And uh, so when I talk to Jason again, I don't have to fib. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and look, like it's just, it's just the accountability. It's not about you know, doing it right for Jason, it's it's absolutely, yeah. it's, it's doing it right because for it's myself, what you're... For myself, yeah, it ultimately benefits me. What so. you're committed to. No one else but me. Yeah. So what what's going on in, in real estate or, you know, like, what's up, Ryan Long? Uh, Ryan Long's a, a real estate agent in New York City. Hey, uh, Ryan. And also a coach. Um, uh, let's see, what you can ask some questions too, Ryan, uh, or, or anybody, anybody out there, anybody out there. Um... Let's see, what else? Uh, what's going on in real estate right now? I mean, we're down in Long Branch right now, but what yeah. what, what should people be um, be looking out for? I mean, it's it's the same story, I think, year, year in, year out. Um, right now, we're in a boom. Everyone wants to, you know, buy a house, flip a house. You know, they watch a show on HGTV. You know, you're getting, you know, um, Fortune Builders guys out and you know, selling courses left and right. Everyone wants to do it. So the key I always tell to anyone who comes to me and ask is make sure you understand what you're getting yourself into, like anything else. Uh, it's an investment. It's investing your time, investing your money. You know, there are risks involved with anything else you do. Uh, and ultimately, as far as what's going on in real estate, I mean, I think it's, personally, I think it's a great time to buy. You just got to buy right. Yeah, you got to buy right. You got to buy right and educate yourself in the process, understand what you're buying, where you're getting into. Don't buy in speculation, um, and if you do, understand the risk and uh, potential, you know, downside or upside. Um, that story hasn't changed. It's still the same thing since, you know, the person first decided to, you know, buy a house and or build a house, <laughs> you know, put four posts and call it land and, and sell it. So, yeah. well, and another thing I think that people forget to think about is, you're right. Like, think about what you're getting into, but some people forget, like. The exit strategy, like, Correct. like, how are you going to get out of it? I got such a great deal. Oh my god, it was such a great deal. Great, good for you. Now how you can sell it? <laughs> yeah, how you gonna sell it? How, how yeah, you what's sell what's it? your plan to, to get out? Correct. Yeah. The other thing from a life coaching standpoint too, and we actually had a little bit of a conversation about this too, is you know making sure that you have defined goals going in on on your exit strategy too, because um, actually we, we we talked about this a bunch that in real estate. Uh, one of the dangerous things about real estate, one of the good and dangerous things about real estate is there's so many directions that you can go with deals. So you get in a deal looking to flip it and, you know, some circumstances come up and you can hold it or flip it or do like 12 other creative things with it. But, you know, really from a business standpoint, like if you have a lot going on and you're trying to follow some goals, having all those options are actually you know, could be a detriment because you, you can just lean back and not, not follow yeah, not your goals. Decision, yeah. yeah, not make a decision. It's happened to me a few times. You know, I'll say uh, I have a goal of X amount of flips and X amount of wholesales or X amount of, you know, holds and I get this deal and I originally intended on selling it, but it may make more sense for me to hold it or it may make more sense for me to wholesale or, you know, I'm short on cash so I got to make another decision and Jason will slightly remind me of, Oh, yeah, what was the original goal? Yeah, what was your that? original goal? Absolutely. Although you try to stick with that, you know, and it's 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 a, it's a good reminder. It's a good way to keep me honest and accountable for you know all my decisions. Go to ultimately they they'll affect you know my outcome, my goals for the year, and my results that I ultimately get. So I think having you you know to to help me with that's been instrumental, and in not just you helping me with it, but also you teaching me or helping me understand that I can actually do that myself right so it's 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 been great yeah fantastic 
What, what are some of the ways that people can get involved? Because I know, you know, most people watch the, the real estate shows and they see, like, the people being the lead investor. Like, they go in, they buy the deal, they, they do the work, and then they, yeah, I mean, they flip I mean, the deal. But it varies. I mean, real estate is so multifaceted. It's so, I mean, just to use an antiquated ex- expression, there's so many ways to skin a cat. So there's the various ways to get involved in real estate. It can be... You know, the flipper, you know, involved as a project manager, running the, buying, finding the house, finding the money, then fixing the house and selling it. Or you could be, you know, straight landlord. You buy a house, you fix it up, you rent it. Uh, or you could be a lender. You know, that's, that's probably, frankly, you know, when all said and done, it's probably the most profitable thing you can do because you're not using any of your time, you're just using your money um, and you lend it out at credit card like rates. <laughs> but, Hey, when there's a need, there's a way, right? So if I need the money, I'll pay it. <laughs> you know, pay it, absolutely. Uh, or, but, uh, or just be a life coach and yeah, work or with just be a life coach like, and you can work with other investors. But yeah, yeah so there's so many ways to, to get involved in the business. And I think ultimately, if that's something anyone is considering, you should really sit down and really think this through. Is this aligned with the goals that you have ultimately? You're not doing this because it's a new fad. Well, you heard of a friend who did it. Just like nothing against crypto but it's the same thing you know you you heard a friend who made a ton of money in cryptocurrency now you want to go ahead and do it. is this aligned with your goals is this something that that's going to get you to where you want to go and if it is great go for it if it's not then you should really take a step back and consider how it's going to affect your goal so same thing applies with real estate that's what i want to do for my li- that's what i do want to do for a living and i'm starting to be more successful doing it um and i plan on continuing to do so with jason's assistance and you know, with all the other investments I'm looking to take, take on and get involved in, and that's it. That's my life. <laughs> awesome. And hey, Laura, and I hope to see your video today. I, I haven't seen it yet. Laura is also doing 30 days of video. Great. Um, she's from the Cayman Islands and currently in San Diego. Oh wow! Nice. Yeah. So she's, she's warm living to warm. Life. Warm great. to warm. Yeah. It's a good move. I we're at the, the beach, thing. but we're cold. Yeah, no, we're freezing. No, it's like 20 some odd degrees outside. <laughs> Um, well, how can these guys help you? Like, do you want to share your goal with them or do you want to ask for help? Like, what, um, what? yeah, sure. I mean, I, my personal goal is I'd like to get to own this year, get to 50 plus units. Um, and <laughs> it's still cold it's there. It's still cold there. Yeah, no, it's not the same thing. <laughs> yeah. No, not we're talking like 20 degrees 20 cold degrees, here. Yes. With the wind chill, it feels like negative something. So... But no, for my goals, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to buy more houses, um, looking to partner with more people. I'm looking to grow my business. And Jason and I have been talking about this. I'm at that stage right now. Grow where, or die. Exactly. <laughs> grow or die. I'll call them, complain about this, that, the other. It's like, just hire somebody or buy more houses. What are you like? What are you complaining about? You know how to do this. And I'm just whining to him. So that's, that's the stage that I'm personally in right now. So <laughs> yes, I am. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. But uh, so, yeah, what assistance is, you know, anyone wants to learn. Like, like you said earlier, I love to help. I feel, I've always felt that, you know, when you teach, you learn. So people that want to learn, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to spend my time with you because my philosophy is somewhat selfish. You know, and the more people I help, the more likely if you run into an opportunity, you'll call me. So <laughs> it works out in my favor just as much as your. So um, that's, that's the way I look at life. I look at everything. Uh, but how you can help me is, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna make money with me, great. If you wanna find a house with me, great. Any which way possible, as long as it's real estate related, we can work together. Very cool, awesome. Any last thing to say to the guys out there? Um, just you know, figure out your goals, man. The, the life is too short. You know, people, we're right here hanging out, beautiful Long Branch. And we're, we're literally on the beach, on even the though beach. it's freezing. We're yeah. We're at the Pier Village. The, the beach is right there. Dude, yep. P- Pier Village. Speaking of which, like, talking about somebody just giving their gift to the world, like, I've driven by this Pier Village thing um, and didn't even know it was back here. Um, yeah, like, someone just created this. Like, someone was like, you know what would be a good idea? And just started drawing this on mm-hmm. paper. Like, this isn't a good idea until it was built. Mm-hmm. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, you know, now it's a great idea. Um... Ah, Miss Lala, <laughs> Latasha, it's, it's some right on time advice for her. Good, that's perfect. Uh, she's also working on some, some big stuff, which we're holding you accountable to. 
<laughs> well, she, he will. He definitely will. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. Like, this is a bad idea on paper until you just do it. Like, you just do it. Now people can't live without this. Like, I know I'm going to come back and hang out. Um, intention versus speaking plus actions. Hey, this all, we're just... All right, let's just <laughs> keep this going. Shit, we're going to solve all the world's problems know, in a right? few. <laughs> but, uh, but no, so, yeah, that, that's, that's, I mean, being here, you know... I guess I even just even talking to him. I mean, I'm talking to Jason on my vision board. I had a beach house. I wanted one, and somehow, some way, <laughs> now you got one. It just appeared, you know, and, and I made it happen. Close this house in what 14 hours? Yeah. Yes. So and, and yeah, like because you had, you had that house. <laughs> that's my. I had to close. I found a way to close. I needed the money. I found the money and closed. But that's again going back to why I. I don't really want to let it go just yet. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel you. Actually, do, do you mind sharing yeah. a little bit of the story? You don't have to go into the details, but... Um, and t- uh, Lala, please share the, the site and, and what you came up with. I'm, I'm actually curious interested. Uh, yeah, I'm curious about that. But, um, like, no joke, it, Benedict, it, the, the beach house was on, um, on his vision board, and it kind of came about. He had 14 hours to do this deal. And... Um, and note, like most most people, most people who want to get into being an entrepreneur, like there's this can kicking thing that that goes on of like, um, you know, look, I'll do this as long as no one holds me to the fire. Yeah. Um, like sometimes you get into situations where you have 14, 14 hours to raise like. Yeah, it was like sixty thousand. <laughs> 14 hours to raise $60,000 from, like, in a place where you have no clue where you're going to... Yeah, but the outcome would be, you know, nothing nothing, nothing worked out in my favor as far as values or so on and so forth, but I had to find a way to close this or I would have lost, I think, close to $15,000. Anyway, um, but no, so this particular deal was, again, was on my vision board. I didn't even think of it. I saw the house. It was just any other house, and someone brought it to my attention, one of my, one of my part, uh, partners, uh, Jonathan Greenstein. He brought it to my attention, and uh, we wanted to we wanted to do a deal together, and you know we so looked at the deal. His numbers looked a little iffy, but you know I, I believed in what he saw in the property, as I seen it myself, and we hadn't seen it inside. It was sight unseen. It's an auction deal, and uh, we're just you know trying to stall the bank and see if there's a way maybe we can you know, raise the money or potentially you know partner up with someone else to bring the money to the table for us to close this deal. But long story short, you know the bank came to us. Wednesday saying, um, you got to close by Friday or you lose your money. So, you know, that kind of put the, my feet to the fire, <laughs> to quote Jason here. Um, and I called him, and I called a bunch of other people, and somehow, some way, you know, when there's a will, there's a way. So the money came, and we were able to close, and we, 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 we closed this deal in, in 14 hours, which was amazing. But I guess the point of the story is, Ultimately, it wasn't my vision board. I was looking at it almost every day, and I was thinking about it. And even though I wasn't actively thinking about buying a beach house, you know, it manifested itself it manifested. because I asked the universe for it, and the universe, you know, provided it. So, believe in your goals. They have a purpose. Life without goals is meaningless, in my opinion. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's That's it. it. Guys, give your gift to the world. Please be inspired. Like, it doesn't even have to be real estate. Just whatever is on your your heart. Yep. Like, wearing hoodies (laughs) and coaching people and, you know, making videos in restaurants. Yeah, having your clients come meet you down the beach. (laughs) The beach. Living the life. It's not bad. Not (laughs) bad. Actually, let me stop. It's great. Um, That's right. Guys, love you. Give your gift to the world. Please be inspired. Please do it. Um, and if you need support, you know, let me know. And there's a whole bunch of coaches that were on throughout the uh, this broadcast, and you can reach out to any of them also. Um, guys, love you all. Give your gift to the world. And uh, see you tomorrow. Hold me accountable to continue doing these videos. <laughs>